Hello everyone, it's Jessica from Mrs. Teamford's class.blogspot.com here today to show you how to make a PowerPoint presentation into an editable file for Teachers Pay Teachers so that your purchasers can actually edit the file but they will not be able to move any of your wording, any of your backgrounds or images. Let's get started. I have a file that I quickly made for another video so let's use that. As you see here, I made a spelling kit. I want the teachers to be able to edit these word cards right here themselves. So as it is right now, if I saved it as a PowerPoint file, as soon as they open it up, they can actually move anything that's here. And I don't want them to be able to do that. Because if I had an image from somebody that I purchased it through, that would be a big no-no because that way... Anybody that downloaded your file could just click and save that file and that would be against everyone's terms of use. So let me show you what you would do. All you're going to do is you're going to go up to File, Save As, you're going to go to Options, you're going to make sure your Save Every Slide button is checked. I like to save my um, pictures as 300 dpi to make sure that they're crystal clear. Click OK. Then you're going to change this format option to an image file. You can do JPEG, PNG, GIF, BMP. I like PNG. It makes it a smaller image file, but they're still crystal clear and they're easy to stack. So I'm going to go PNG. I'm going to save this as weekly spelling words onto my desktop so it's easy to find and make sure that that format is PNG, hit save. It's going to save all three of these slides as pictures. And then I'm going to open a new PowerPoint file and I'm simply going to insert those as backgrounds. So you're going to go up to format, slide background, picture, choose a picture, go to my desktop where I save those, I'm going to find those three files. Insert, apply, do it for the second one, slide background, picture, choose a picture, find those pictures again, pick the second one. Yes, this would be tedious if you had numerous pages, but I can tell you your purchasers are going to appreciate that you have made this file editable for them so that they can format it in any way that they choose and slide three, insert, and apply. What you're going to do now is you could just save it as a PowerPoint, upload it right now, and that would be fine. People would love it. But to make it more user-friendly, I add text boxes in each of these so that when my purchasers open this file, they automatically, oops, they automatically have a box to edit. So I'm going to do something that every computer is uploaded with. Let's go Arial. They can always change this font, but the problem is if I would use one of my fonts, like my box print, and I save it on my computer, it's not going to open on their computer as that um, font. So let's go with something that everybody has you could use a font of your choosing and then just give them the link to where they can download that font. That's also an option. And I'm going to put click to edit text. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Oops. Slide that a little bit bigger. There we go. And now I'm just going to take this text box and I'm going to copy it and paste it into all of them. Excuse my OCD. I have to make sure everything's lined up. And then once you do that for all of the boxes, all you're going to do is hit File, Save, name it as what you want to, and then upload it to Teachers Pay Teachers. Like I said, these are images. They can't edit 
any of the wording that you don't want them to edit. The only thing that they're going to be able to move around are these text boxes that you're making editable. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to always email me at jessica.stanford at me.com. Thanks and have a great day.